Arke's been watching over me for years now. He says he's not too sure about you yet, though. I trust your journey was successful. Hi. What, are you, what is the moth priest doing in the smithy? Okay, I've brought the Elder Scrolls. I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this matter. Why? What's happened? It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be able to allay the after effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. That covering on your eyes, are you... Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. Can anything be done to help you? No, it will have to run its course. And there's always the chance I may never recover. Then we're finished. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's bow? What do I need to do? I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your worries. Don't worry about that, just tell Scattered me. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Piney Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Mob within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. Explain this ritual. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Mobs to you. Once enough of the mobs are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. Carefully gather the bark, how? In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every mob priest has taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. Do I need to read the scrolls in any particular order? From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Is it normal for moth priests to go blind? Sadly, yes. It is the inevitable fate we agree to pursue when reading the Elder Scrolls. It generally does not occur until a moth priest is in his latter years, but in my case, I simply was not preparing myself properly. What went wrong? Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like reading a simple book. There is quite a bit of ritual and concentration required. It can take months or even years to complete a single scroll, and even then, months to recover. Yeah, we do not have that kind of time. How's a moth related to the Elder Scrolls? Well, as I'm sure you figured out by now, it's no mere coincidence that we're named Moth Priests. The voice of the Ancestor Moth has always been an integral part of reading the Elder Scrolls. Moths barely make a sound, let alone speak. Oh, the Moths don't literally read the scrolls, but they maintain a connection to ancient magic that allows the Moth Priests to decipher them. If you listen closely when you find the Glade, you should be able to hear their song. A soft, harmonious trilling. It's through this ancestral chorus that the moths tap into a form of primal augur and become a conduit for deciphering the scrolls. How does that help the moth priest? By having the ancestor moths close to the moth priest, they can utilize the conduit and share the moth's augury. Only the most resilient of priests can do it this way. It takes years of practice to interpret the harmony. Then how do I even stand a chance? You've come this far, and you've found several Elder Scrolls. Whether you believe it or not, the scrolls have a mind of their own. If they did not want you to find them, they would not allow it. Because of this, uh, I strongly believe you were meant to hear the ancestral chorus. Only one way to find out. I'm just saying, if these scrolls suddenly develop some strange form of elvish script and I throw them into a fire, I ain't touching them again. <laughs> no, 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 no,
After discovering that Dexian has become blind, I've had to secure alternate means to decipher the Elder Scrolls and locate Aureal's bow. It's been suggested that I might be able to read the scrolls myself if I use an ancient technique performed by the original Moth Priest. I'm now on my way to a place known as the Ancestor's Clay to discover the origin of the mysterious ritual. Okay, that's not too bad. We can get there. Um, let's get out of here. <sighs> Ancestors Glade. It was somewhere along the southern border. There we go. Uh, what? Oh, it's a spriggan. <gasps> Mora Tapinella! That's exactly the stuff that I need. go as intended. Let's try that again. <clears throat> yeah, let's stop with you. I should probably recharge my weapon now that I think about it. Charge. Let's see how we can actually get up there because don't think we can get up here um can we go from back here well 
Why does it keep on pointing this way when we're actually going south? That makes no sense. Let's mine some quicksilver real quick. I'm no fan of the sun. Never be better than this. Also, let's do Donavi a favor. So what is soul tear? Your foam cuts for flesh and shatter soul, commanding the will of the fallen. That is so weird. I cannot summon him anymore. There we go. Lenani Stunevir. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. From its living vessel. Oh, so I need to summon him three times in order to get that. I got it. All right. That makes sense. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, Danavir. Okay, let's see if we can get down here without breaking our limbs. And without using ethereal. I think we're good. Six waffle. There we go, the ancestors clade. Oh. Somebody owns that chest, okay. Guess we're not the first people who tried to get in there. Eh. I mean, the helmet is good and I would take the gold normally, but it's fine. up being a wasted trip your friend Brexian and I are gonna have some words when we get back oh stop complaining hanging moss I'll take that oh whoops Let's see where this leads us. A 
It kind of reminds me of when we went to the uh, Elder Gleam Sanctuary. Oh. Oh, this place looks pretty nice. Wow. Look at this place. No one's been here in centuries. I doubt there's any other place like it in Skyrim. It's beautiful. Oh, all of a sudden you like it. All of a sudden you're a fan. Seriously. Serena, sometimes I wonder why I put up with you. I know why I put up with you, because, you know, you're a quest NPC and I can't get rid of you. That's why. Also, this looks like the uh, soul fishers and the soul cairn. I don't think we need to sneak here. I mean, I don't see anything or anybody. So... Got some gold. Nice little lake you have here. I mean, nothing in it, but. Well, we got the knife. Now all we need to do is track down one of those canticle trees. Hope the moth liked that bark as much as Dexian said they would. <sighs> okay, how do we do that? I mean, it is a very beautiful place. Uh, why is the door locked now? Look at them. They've definitely taken a liking to you. And unless I'm seeing things, you're starting to glimmer. You are seeing things. I don't see any glimmer. Three, four. Oh, there's a shield there. That looks like a glass shield, I think. Yeah. Five. Six. Okay, well, there's the last one. Seven. There we go. Yay. Now we're glowing. I think that might have been what we were waiting for. Let's head back up there and see if we can read the scrolls. Let's go. Books. I have a scroll blood. Let's go. Is that like a map or something? Are you okay? I almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. That felt strange. I could see it in your eyes. You looked about a thousand leagues away. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? 
It's in a place called Darkfall Cave. And it's almost over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall Cave? The scrolls gave me its exact location. Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. What do you know about Aurel's bow? Not much. If you read any history, it shows up from time to time, but it's a hard thing to track. As far as I know, though, it's never been held by a vampire. That would be a new one. What does it have to do with the sun? Ariel is one of the elven gods. He's with the rest of them in Aetherius. The way I've heard it, the sun represents the connection from our world to theirs. Supposedly, the bow draws its energy from the sun itself, which is why it shows up in that prophecy. What exactly does it do? In that part, I don't know. Once we have it, hopefully it'll be obvious. Where'd oh! Okay, what the fuck? Where is the vampire? Okay, let's go up there. So much for your little ambush. Now I just want to loot the rest of them. Uh, gold lockpick. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Gold. Done. Let's go. Oh, hanging moss, I'll take that. <laughs> 